Telekinesis is the power to control objects with the power of your mind. In this case, we're going to use the power of our mind to understand potential and kinetic energy to control an object. Now, this might be one of the trickier projects in the Summer Brain Games because there's a lot of different ways you can do it and you have to kind of go through trial and error to figure out what works best with the materials that you have. We suggest using some kind of cardboard tube or a metal paint can. Uh, this happens to be a packing tube, so it's, it's a really good size, but you might be using a can that you would have uh, tea or peanuts in that has uh, metal bottom and a plastic top. You might be using a salt shaker can. You might, be using, um, you might be using any kind of can, but what is important is to figure out how to use the materials and get them set up just right so that your can comes back when you call it. So you have to start by poking some holes in the ends. Uh, since this is a packing tube, there's these nice uh, end caps that fit right in here. Um, be careful, uh, you're gonna have to use something sharp like a nail to do that or the sharp point of some scissors. Once you get those holes in the front and the back, they should be about the same distance apart. You're going to take a rubber band, cut it in half and put one end of the rubber band through each of the holes so that the end is like this. You're going to stretch this through the can and then you're going to put this through the holes on the other side. This is really tricky to do with just two hands. So if you're a superhero and have three hands, that's great. If not, get a friend or a parent to help out. Uh, but you want to get the other ends of the rubber band through the holes and tie them on the outside. So, you might need to use more than one rubber band depending on how long your tube is. If that's the case, simply cut two rubber bands, tie them together, and do the same thing. So that's the first tricky part to figure out is how long of a rubber band that you need. It should be pretty uh, stretched out on the inside. Not super tight, but definitely under some tension. Now, the other part of this is to get the weight that is going to be uh, the thing that helps you store potential energy. So here I'm using a nut. You can also use washers. You can also, uh, you can use anything that's about this size. It should be metal so it's nice and heavy. Take your, uh, your, your chenille stem, put it through here, give it a twist so that you have what we affectionately call rabbit ears sticking off of the top. Now, your rubber band is stretched out on the inside of your, can of your canister and you want the weight to hang down a little bit underneath there. To do that, and this is why there are two rabbit ears sticking up, you want to attach one, one rabbit ear to each rubber band so that it's kind of hanging in the middle and underneath. See how that works? That way, when you roll your can, the weight won't be perfectly centered and it'll end up twisting the rubber band on the inside. And that's what stores the potential energy so that your can will go wandering or will come back to you once you roll it away. You can see it's kind of moving on the side a little bit. So um, if you do it just right, your can should come back to you. If you're having troubles, try playing around with how the weight is positioned inside of the can. Make sure it's hanging underneath the rubber band just a little bit. If your rubber band seems like it's too loose on the inside, you can pull some out and then tie a new knot to tighten it up. Uh, the important thing here is to not give up, try a few different things, get it tuned just right, and then go out and amaze your friends with the power of your mind. <laughs>